there's there's a part where you're trying to send this Blinky program, uh, this Blinky example program that they give you, and you're trying to like edit some options, and then it, that's when it says ST link uh, not detected. And so I'll just go to those options right now. First, you're, it, it starts off on, on, on the target tab. Yeah, the target tab. And then if you, if you go to debug, though, for me, right here at the ST link debugger, I think it actually had something else. But, uh, but what, where, the, where the big problem was under settings right here. Uh, it would say this, no ST link detected. And that might not sound so bad at first because, you know, well, you don't ever, maybe you don't even know what the ST link is. But then if you go back and then you press OK, and, uh, oh, for me it did nothing. But 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 right then, uh, normally when, when I would hit OK right there, it would uh, it would give me some kind of error saying no ST link detected, and then uh, oh oh I'm sorry I'm sorry. It was when I hit load because that this is actually the error the exact error I was getting. Uh, I think what I meant over here was just that this was not on ST link debugger, which I thought was weird because it's if you read the documentation it's supposed to be using that, and then under settings it had this okay. But this is was a, the, the big problem, and uh, for me right now it's not working because I don't even have it plugged in. That's why it's not detected. But earlier when I was doing this, and what you guys might, if you guys have the same problem, is it will be plugged in. You you'll, you will see the LED, uh, the power LED light up, uh, and then you're here and you're trying to uh, flash the board, and it still says no ST link detected. So I read a bunch of things online, and I tried to download a few things, and nothing was really that helpful. But then I just, I just tried something, and it happened to work. So what I did is I went to my C drive, went to where the my Kiel Microvision 5 was installed, and then I went to ARM, and then I went down to SD Link, and then I went into a USB driver, and then right here, there are two application files, and that's what I noticed. And then, uh, for me, since I have a 64-bit um, operating system, that's uh, one of the Windows 64 bits. I I ran this, and I won't run it again because I already ran it. But I ran that, and then I and then I open and closed. The, the Microvision 5, and then the next time I, uh, and I also I, I unplugged my, my, my board, my dev board, and then when I hit load again, the ST link, uh, it, it didn't have that problem, and I could actually see my board lighting, the LEDs lighting up for my Blinky program. So I think that's what you guys need to try. Again, just to reiterate, you're going to want to go to Windows, and then the Keel, uh, Microvision 5 uh, folder, and then ARM, ST Link, USB driver, and then look for the two application uh, application files, and then run whichever one is appropriate for your system. But probably 64-bit. I think mo most operating systems are 64-bit now, at least consumer ones. Um, okay, that is. Uh, I hope that helps.